So I'm continuing to round over the lower part of the ball on the uh, other three sides that are left. And this particular one had terrible grain. It was quilted and no matter what I did it would chip out. So you see me use the inch and a half five and the file there quite a bit because every time I would try to carve it it would create a chunk and uh, so this particular side was extremely challenging and um, I did finally get it rounded over I ended up using a lot of filing to get rid of the holes that were, there were and that so I was glad to finish finish that particular side and that grain didn't appear on the other three so now I move on to the next one I had to pencil out because I'd lost the center line there and remarked it and so I'm using a half inch flat chisel here and uh, again using the inch and a half five on occasion to check the uh, shape of the ball and uh, smooth it over again using the file there to get rid of some of the bumps at the end and move to the next side happy with that one and this is the last uh, one again using a half inch flat chisel to round over the bottom inch and a half uh, five there to check the shape and then last uh, using the file to get rid of some of the the bumps and uh, there it is so then I put it up to the original one or the first one and so now that it's rounded over on all four sides I start to work on the talons this is the back talon and I'm smoothing it out and rounding it over a little better than which was rough carved uh, originally and so you can see me using the file there then I'll start to work on the lower portion of the the talon uh, there's quite a bit of material that has to be removed there and creating it uh, from the wide end down to a point I have to keep the ball round as the talon gets thinner on the end uh, so I'm constantly uh, removing more material at the bottom and uh, eventually I get the talon to the thickness that I want and uh, again it's tapered uh, down to the point rounded over and uh, you can see it take the shape there then with a pencil I'll uh, mark an arc on both sides that matches the arch on the top uh, of the uh, talon. Then with a half inch three there I remove the initial material and get it started uh, undercutting there. And that's a sixteenth inch three that I'm using then to continue to remove the material from both sides until it disappears and you've got a hole underneath the talon. Then with a flat chisel I remove the material against the ball and uh, making sure that the ball continues around underneath the, the hole. Using the file there rounding over the talon and it's just about finished.